Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Hey everybody, Cooker here, and I want to give you the five top ETFs that uh, young people should be investing in. Um, and I have a very good reason for having this discussion. Um, several reasons, in fact. Let's start with uh, one of my favorite tweets of the day from ETF expert at Bloomberg, Eric Balkunas. He says, your mind-blowing ARK stat of the day, the five-year return for ARK-K, that's the innovation ETF of uh, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest, just hit quadruple digits or four times to five times more than QQQ, growth, MoMA, Mo momentum, um, you know, any, anything comparable, 62% uh, annualized return. Someone asked me yesterday why they were seeing so much inflows. Well, this has been going on for a month. Um, he says, this chart should help answer that question, and I'm not sure that we're going to get all the answers uh, from this chart necessarily, but um, you, you, you see the money pouring in here to RK because people discovered that Kathy Wood's thematic investing, um, you know, where she picks a, let's say RK is all about innovation. So it's got Tesla, it's got the genomic stocks, uh, it's got artificial intelligence with NVIDIA. Uh, then say she's got an ARC G, which is just the genomic stocks, you know, but it's got CRISPR in there too. You know, people discovered that, you know, she was really onto something. Um, and so they keep throwing money into her ETFs, which is sort of distorting natural forces in the market because the, uh, the, the ETF fund inflows impact stock flows. And, you know, that can work both ways as, you know, if there were a big sell-off, say, in the CRISPR wing or the, um, uh, you know, like Tesla or something like that, God forbid, right, um, then, you know, things would move fast the other way. Well, here's here's what I want to talk about because I did, an ET, I did a podcast yesterday with my ETF expert, uh, Nina Mishra, pictured here. She's got a podcast you can find everywhere, ETF Spotlight. I invited her on my Mind Over Money podcast because, and let me just show you, let me scroll down here uh, in her archive. Um, you know, she she does, does a fantastic job with this podcast. She's there every week and she's always got a guest on. So she interviews, uh, she has ETF experts from all the top providers, BlackRock, iShares, uh, State Street, Invesco, and um you know, and gets into the the core mechanics of how an ETF is structured, what new ETFs are out there. It looks like she just talked to somebody about a clean energy ETF. Uh, and she's also had uh, Eric Balkunas on there too. So I wanted to have her on my podcast because of the other insanity going on. And that would be GameStop and Roaring Kitty. I have a millennial son. Uh, he's in the Marines. He just got back from the Middle East in November. And he one thing he did right is he started saving and investing, but then he got hooked by the Reddit uh, bug to trade after watching uh, uh, Deep Effing Value, aka Roaring Kitty, make so much money in GameStop. And I said, it's all good. Yeah, learn how to trade. Just keep it small. One thing I hadn't done until late January was go back and watch some of Roaring Kitty's videos on YouTube. And after I watched one from July where he, when GameStop was at four bucks, I said, make no mistake, the Roaring Kitty did his homework last year on GameStop. Dude was a data-driven, humble, and not certain value investor who had methods and models that exercised probabilistic thinking. Hopefully, his followers learn beyond the follow. And, uh, you know, I predicted there would be a lot of pain with uh, GameStop traders buying it at 300. And I even heard something crazy the other day uh, on NPR, on I think on Monday night, that... Uh, they were interviewing people who were completely new to trading, but thinking that they were in this revolution buying GameStop and they weren't going to sell their shares at a loss because they were going to take down Wall Street. And that's just absurd. If you, if you know anything about trading, that's, that's just crazy talk. That's not how the markets work. There are no revolutions like that. Uh, the only good revolutions are, you know, the ones, you know, started by Kathy Wood. So what I felt the need to do was, hey, let's let's get young people, uh, millennials, younger generations thinking about core investing with ETFs and then go out and play with fun money. So 
Uh, Nina and I sat down, had a good long conversation, and there will be an article version. The podcast will come out soon. But what I'm going to do with both the podcast, um, the, the podcast is the only place you're going to find out the ETFs, except also in this video. So in the article version, you're not going to see the ETFs. You either have to listen to the podcast uh, on Mind Over Money, which we'll publish sometime later today. And there's my mug, Mind Over Money, the behavioral finance podcast. Um, or you're going to get them in this video. So let's get right to them. Nina's top five picks for core investing in ETFs. First one is Triple QM. Last year, late last year, Invesco decided let's offer some different flavors of uh, Triple Q. Great idea. So the, the QQM uh, basically is the same thing as the Triple Qs. They just downsized it. It's almost like they did a stock split. Um, so whereas uh, the triple Qs are trading for over 300 bucks. You can get in triple QM for, um, you know, right now, 136 bucks. Let's look at the holdings. You'll see it's the same, you know, it's the same story as, um, there we go. Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, Facebook, uh, Nvidia, PayPal, Netflix. There you go. You get, you get the triple Qs right away. And, and I think the expenses are even lower. Like, yeah, expense ratio is 0.15%. Whereas I think the triple Qs are 0.2. So that was Nina's topic. I'm using ETF.com. Really quick resource. Uh, I'll just go up here and change the letter for the next fund I want to look at. And that is going to be, we're going to go biotech. I, I sort of mix these up in a different order. Um, XBI, the equal weight biotech ETF. So, and and, you know, why invest in biotech? Well, that's a dumb question. Of course, you know why I invest in biotech. But um, hey, let's take a look. Yeah, there's the cues. Uh, they tried to sell off today a little bit, uh, spook some people. Look at that. Uh, you know, took it took it down. Uh, you know, to three thirty, back to three thirty two. Um, you know, Sh Shopify is still rocking. Baidu is still rocking. Nvidia is rocking. Square is rocking. I mean, <laughs> I, all these crockins of of innovation. All right, so let's take a look at XBI here. This is the Spider uh, Biotech ETF. It's equal weighted. So that's the that's the real theme here is if you go equal weighted, then you get exposure to the smaller companies. So instead of Amgen, Biogen, Gilead, Regeneron, um, uh, Intuitive Surgical, Lumina, instead of them dominating, you get more exposure to uh, the smaller companies. So I'm going to scroll down and show you those here. So there we go. So Novavax, obviously, you know, and if there were a hundred companies in here, if you just started it fresh with a hundred companies, it would have, they'd all have about a 1% weighting. And I think XBI has a little over a hundred companies, but why is Novavax up there at, at almost a 1.9% 1, 1. weighting? Well, because it just surged. So the, this ETF, I don't know how often it rebalances. I'm going to guess quarterly. So Novavax will be a big part of XBI right now uh, because it just surged at, at, until things are rebalanced. Um, so you see Dynavax in there. I just bought Dynavax. Love that little uh, uh, vaccine. They make the adjuvants that, that help vaccines do what they do. So I'm excited about that. Uh, Beam Therapeutics in there. I think they have something to do with CRISPR. I, I don't know that much about Beam. All right, so that's the second ETF that uh, Nina recommends for, you know, as a core portfolio holding. All right, let's do the next one. This one is VTI. Probably don't even know what VTI is because, you know, who would? It's not something you trade. It's the whole stock market. That's what VTI is. Um, it's like... It's, it's actually bigger than the Russell 3000. So you're talking, I think it's got like 3,200 stocks in it. Um, so it's, why, why, would that, why should that be a core ETF? Well, own the whole stock market because you're going to do well over 10 or 20 years. Uh, you know, it's sort of set it and forget it. Sure, you could buy, you could buy the SPY, uh, I think. Uh, but anything from Vanguard is going to have the lowest expense ratios. All right, so here's VTI, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. Uh, trading a little over 200 bucks. And it, you know, as I said, you might guess it's gonna, it's gonna look a lot like the QQQs, right? Because who dominates the market right now? 
Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, and Tesla, Alphabet, Johnson and Johnson's in there, Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan Chase. But uh, you know, VTI is going to give you you know less concentration in tech because you're holding you know basically the entire U.S. stock market. All right, let's go to Nina's fourth pick, which is another QQQ flavor. Um, and this is QQQJ, which is really kind of exciting. This is what Invesco decided to do. Really cool idea. They call it the next generation ETF. And all they did was just uh, pick the next 200 companies in the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ 100 is the, are the top 100 companies in all of NASDAQ listed stocks, which are you know over 2,000. This is stocks number 101 through 200. And here's where you get a lot of exciting young growth names. Um, you know, I'm thinking there's going to be CrowdStrike, the Trade Desk. Uh, there we go, Roku. So right now you're seeing Roku's got a big weighting because it's soared. CrowdStrike's up there. Trade Desk is up there. Zscaler, Etsy, Fortinet. Um, you know, just uh, I think it's just a beautiful idea. So this is yeah, I would want to want I would want a, a young person to own both. Triple QM and Triple QJ, and just buy them, hold them. And now, you know, I'm, you're going to get the question: Oh, do am I am I going to buy the stock market top right now? Well, there's no better time to start being a long-term investor than yesterday, and the next best next best time is today. So, of course, you can start a position in these, and then you'll pay attention to them, you'll learn about the companies, and then you add on dips and you add bigger on corrections. So the next time we get a, you know. 10, 15, 20% wipeout in the market, that's when you really want to dig in deep. And in your IRA, you know, hopefully a tax deferred vehicle like an IRA, um, you know, and put these away and let that and let them grow over time. You will, you will thank uh, <laughs> your ETF stars later. All right. Nina's last pick. Let's go, let's go get robotic here. She's gone with the iShares Robotics and artificial intelligence multi-sector ETF. And you can't go wrong with iShares. Nina has owned, um, she owned uh, Robo Global Advisors, had a, a robotics ETF. They were one of the first. Um, and then she owned that for a while, made good returns there. And then she transitioned into this one just because the expenses were lower. But uh, she still likes that that Robo family. So let's see what's topping here. Obviously, NVIDIA is going to be a big chunk of this. Let's take a look here. Whoa, NVIDIA is not even in the top, uh, <laughs> they're not even in the top 10 right now. Um, I, you know, go figure. Um, uh, maybe there's a reason for that that I'm not sure of. But uh, you, you, you're obviously going to have exposure to NVIDIA in the triple QM. Uh, here we've got 3D Systems, MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy is up big because of Bitcoin. Stratasys, uh, 3D Printing. Um, and Baidu, Baidu's had a great run here. Oh my gosh. We just, we made over a double in Baidu. Didn't see that. Come. I, I, I've loved Baidu for years. It was beaten down, but I always knew that they were going to be the autonomous driving plus AI powerhouse in China. And finally that is coming to bear. They're going to, you know, be building cars over there. Uh, and so the stock is, you know, is gone through 300. So congrats to anybody who hung on with Baidu. All right, what else did I want to show you? So talked about dollar cost averaging, you know, buy, buy now, buy on the dips, keep scaling in every month, every quarter. Um, expenses matter. You know, Nina, if you if you follow her podcast uh, or any of her articles, you know, she's she's not going to pay. You know, a lot of her stuff, it's, it's going to be where the expense ratio is under 50 basis points. She might pay up to 95 basis points if it's a very thematic ETF that no one else is doing. Um, you know, but she's not going to, you don't, you don't need to pay over a hundred basis points for, um, uh, for anything. Uh, I want to show you her portfolio. So here at, uh, Zach's, if we go to the ETF investor portfolio, I'm just going to give you a quick glance. You can see her top winner right now is semiconductor. She's owned that ETF for over four years and is just killing it with like a 270% return. Uh, there you can see the socks. I'll show you, I'll show you her, uh, her top couple of holdings here. Um, she bought a online retail, I buy ETF uh, made, she made 200% there since March of 18. 
Uh, VGT is another way to go with information technology. That's the Vanguard one, you know, very safe way to approach technology. Uh, that's more than doubled. And, um, uh, just, just some other good things. Nina really knows her stuff. So you want to follow her podcast, ETF spotlight. And, uh, there's going to be an article version of this on zax.com where I'll have a bunch more information, but just be thinking if you got young people in your life that are new investors, or if you are in your twenties or thirties and you're just getting started, think about these five ETFs as core holdings that will be sort of your investment ballast for the next 20 years. And then you can have some play money to go trade GameStop or whatever the latest fad is. All right. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. We'll talk to you next week.